Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Juan Morales, Senior Staff Field Application Engineer for Smart HQ Service here at GE Appliances. In this video, we will demonstrate how to utilize the Smart HQ Service app to help you diagnose some common dishwasher symptoms. What we have here is a GE Profile dishwasher and the complaint is that the dishes are coming out dirty. To be more specific, the customer is stating that the dishes on the lower rack are coming out clean, but the ones on the top are not. In this case, it is possible that water is not being channeled properly and you may need to check the circulation pump and diverter valve for proper operation. Now, typically, a service technician would enter test mode by pressing a series of keys on the user interface in a very specific order. However, this method is often difficult because it will require you to memorize each product's individual key code sequence, which may be different. But with Smart HQ service, Entering service mode is simple, and activating individual components is as easy as turning on a light switch. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your Bluetooth module to the dishwasher's Ethernet port located behind the tow kick plate. Take a look. Now, Open the Smart HQ service app and in moments, your device will connect to the appliance. You can now view product information, recent bulletins, service manuals, and more. As you can see, connecting Smart HQ service to the appliance is extremely simple. And don't forget, this app works with both Android and iOS devices, which means you don't have to go out there and purchase additional hardware. Now, let's go ahead and run that circulation pump test, and to help us see inside the unit, we will attach the clear plastic cover. To run this test, click Next and select Operate Loads. Enter Service Mode and click Operate Loads. Next, activate the water valve test to allow water to enter the dishwasher. While the unit fills, let's open up the watch box so we can monitor other components. By looking at the temperature, turbidity, and water pressure sensor values, we can determine if these components are operating correctly. A rise in temperature indicates the thermistor is detecting hot water is coming into the unit. The turbidity value tells us that the water is relatively clear. And lastly, a drop in pressure frequency confirms that water is indeed entering the unit. Now, using the circulation pump test, we can activate each wash area individually. Let's start with the lower spray arm and let it run for approximately 15 seconds. We'll turn it off and move on to the upper spray arm. Finally, let's activate the silverware wash area. As we can see, every wash area is operating correctly. However, if the test had failed, you would need to physically check for restrictions such as food particles or a loose wire connection. And if you're unfamiliar with the product, detailed wiring diagrams and other service information can be easily found right within the app. With Smart HQ service, you can instantly view fault codes and learn about the most recent service bulletins. You can even order parts on the spot right from the app, saving you both time and money. Alrighty, my friends, and there you have it. As you can see, the Smart HQ service tool is a must-have for any technician that works on GE appliances. Order yours today by visiting smarthqservice.com or call 502-714-2029 and one of our agents will guide you through the process. Once again, my friends, thank you for watching and remember that at GE Appliances, we are here to help and here for you.